Hello students, my name is Professor Muhammad Asim and we are doing Ad Math. Ad Math for IGCSE students which have syllabus code 0606 and for CIEO level students which have syllabus code 4037. So both kind of students can get equal benefit from this course. As you know students in last lecture we finished exercise 9.4 it was a very lengthy exercise it has 14 questions with many parts so i have given 22 lectures of exercise 9.4 in order to finish with each and every part each and every question Today we are going to start another exercise which is also related to graph of trigonometric functions. But this time we will learn the graph of trigonometric functions with absolute value. You can see on the screen article 9.5 graphs of y is equals to fx absolute of fx where fx is a trigonometric function. Students, the word fx, uh, sorry, the word absolute is not new for you. We did lot of questions in chapter number one, which is related to absolute valued function. We did lot of questions in chapter number two, chapter number four as well, which are related to absolute valued function, graphs of absolute valued function. But this time, we will learn absolute valued function of fx where fx is a trigonometric functions like sine cos and 10 look at the work example number 8 after this example you will feel very comfortable and you will be saying that this is very easy Part A is case the graph of fx is equals to sin x for 0 to 2 pi. You know 0 to 2 pi means this is the domain. Oh, one thing which I forgot to tell you for those students who are watching my lectures first time. Kindly first go to my playlist. There is a folder admits name is admath watch all previous lectures of exercise 9.4 then you will have very good command on this topic after watching those lectures then you should start exercise 9.5 with me so part a is is case the graph of fx is equals to sin x absolute value of sin x for 0 to 2 pi 0 to 2 pi is the domain very easy this case the graph of y is equals to sin x so first we have to draw the graph without absolute valued function this is very simple we did lot of practice so the graph of sin x you can see on the screen as a blue curve and after drawing the graph uh, sorry not blue curve one is upper blue curve and one is a dotted black curve and after draw, drawing the graph, sketching the graph, see step number 2. Reflect in the axis the part of the curve y is equals to sin x that is below the x axis. And this is what we have. So just first draw the simple trigonometric graph and then reflect that part of the curve which is below the x-axis it means reflect means you must make x-axis is a mirror line or invariant line and reflect this part so after this uh, part a c part b state the range of the function f obviously the range of the function is from 0 to 1 because the maximum value of the sine function is 1 and the minimum value is minus 1 but because the graph is absolute valued of sin x so we have to take from 0 to 1 this is the range again I would say the concept of range and domain is not new for you we did the whole chapter which is each a uh, chapter number one with each and every question so if you feel any difficulty in the concept of range and domain again go to my playlist 
देर इज अ फोल्डर नेम एड मैथ वॉच ऑल लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट एक्सरसाइज नाइन पॉइंट फाइव क्वेश्चन नंबर वन Using use graphing software to check your graph in this exercise. Sketch the graphs of each of the following functions for zero to three sixty degrees, and state the range of each function. Students in exercise nine point four, I use the graphing software to show to check your answer, but this time. After doing lot of practice in exercise 9.4, I will not check my answers by using graphing software because we did lot of practice. So just draw the graph and write the range. So first part is absolute value of 10x. So I did some work for you. Let's have a look. what i wrote first draw the graph of y is equals to 10x this is the theme of question we just draw the simple trigonometric function graph and then find its absolute part so take you know the uh, period of tangent function is simple tangent function is 180 upon b where b is the coefficient of x therefore the coefficient of x is 1 in this question so the period of this function is 180 degrees so take the interval from 45 degrees interval on x axis so first value is 0 degree then 45 then 90 then 135 then 180 then 225 then 270 degrees then 315 then 360 degrees and with the help of calculator find the values of tangent 0 degrees tangent 0 degrees is 0 tangent 45 is 1 tangent 90 is undefined infinity 135 degrees is minus 1 180 degrees is 0 tan 225 is 1 tan 270 is undefined tan 315 is minus 1 and tan 360 degrees is 0 So from zero to three degree, three uh, sixty degrees, there are two undefined signs. So we have to draw two asymptotes. I repeat again kindly. First, watch for those new students who skip exercise nine point four. Kindly first watch uh, uh, questions of exercise nine point four. Then you will be able to do these questions. Look at this. When x is zero, then y is zero. First square at zero zero. When x is forty-five, then y is one. When x is ninety, then y is undefined. So draw the red dotted line. This is asymptote. When x is one thirty-five, then y is minus one. When x is 180, then y is 0. When x is 225, then y is 1. When x is 270, then y is undefined. So this is second asymptote. When x is 315, then y is uh, 315, then y is minus 1. And when x is 360, then y is 0. So join all. crosses i have joined already these two crosses at 0 0 and at 45 1 now join those crosses which are below the x axis and show dotted dotted curve like this this is without dotted and this is with dotted again this is dotted now look at carefully which part of the curve are below the x axis this one 
at 135 the value is minus 1 so after reflecting this minus 1 becomes positive 1 so this is first part sorry 1 at this point this is the mistake okay so just reflect and look at this at 3 1 15 the value is minus 1 it should be plus 1 so join these two points Now, all those parts of the curve which are below x axis are reflected and this is our graph. This is our graph of y is equals to absolute absolute 10x. So, hope you completely understand this part A and you must keep in your mind whatever the function is sin x or cos x or tan x you must reflect those part of the curve which are below x axis to reflect definitely the part of the curve which is below x axis after reflecting it will be above x axis so i hope you understand this question this is what we have in today's class but i promise you in next lecture we will be doing more questions of this question number one exercise 9.5 so i request all of you kindly do subscribe my channel and whenever you subscribe don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when i upload my videos you will get the notification kindly share my videos as many as you can okay students good luck for next lecture